Hello, gentlemen. Um, this is Volcano from NextGod.net. Um, Gonna try to attempt uh, looking through the new DLC that came out um, today. I picked it up um, just as it went out. Um, hopefully, I can push this video as fast as I can to you guys so you can uh, check it out before you guys decide to buy it or not. Um, from what I see, it's very cool, has very um, uh, very nice uh, map design. Um, I will have a couple of people with me in TeamSpeak um, looking into it on their own side. Uh, I haven't done a, uh, like a map DLC review before, so hopefully I can go through most of this stuff, cover it, so you guys can also join in and uh, see how it looks like. Um, I hope I don't miss a lot of stuff that I should have looked into. Um, but other than that, what I have done is I have uh, loaded the DLC from the launcher. I loaded um, Enhance uh, Zeus and Achilles with it, so I can move my character, you know, uh, one point to the other faster and easier. I have a for performance uh, wise, I have a NVIDIA um, 1060 Ti, I think, as a graphics card and a processor of Intel i7, ninth generation. That should give you an idea. Um, throughout, I talk a bit about the FPS and the end. Um, uh, and here, um, this is what I come up uh, to when I joined to the game. This is the single player. From there, I go. I haven't looked into these at all. Um, I come. I'm gonna go through the campaign and share it also on the YouTube here as soon as I can. Also the scenarios I'm going to check out, but I clicked on the editor here and then I came up to the agent editor select map one from here. I wouldn't see this one, I haven't seen this one when I loaded without loading DLC obviously, but yeah, now I can see it here, in the launcher I mean, um, and then clicking continue and goes into it. So I'm going to attempt to go through it now and I hope you guys can stick uh, around and join me uh, checking this beautiful map. Okay, so a lot of trees. I like the terrain. It's very interesting. It's an okay size. It's not humongous like Altus. So, I'm just gonna fly for a bit around and see if my eye catches something while just discovering, I guess. Exploring. Is this the main airport in the north now, right? I think so. It doesn't seem to be like a huge airport, but there's the one up to the north, and then there's um, an island, I think, that's to the southwest oh no no i'm looking at the one at the north um i think so it's kind of empty and are these tiles or is it texture okay it's like kind of texture so hopefully you no know, planes will be bumpy we can check that out in a bit uh, but it's kind of very very open field you can kind of customize it as you wish i guess if you are um editor Mission editor, better said. Let's let me jump to the other uh, main airbase. Okay, so stuff is loading in. Okay, it's not as empty as the one in the north, um, so it's not very disappointing. But I do like the models. Um, kind of concrete metal type of stuff, so hopefully not all the bullets go through it. Yeah, and from a, f a bit far I thought it was like thatch or something, so it's kind of concerned there. The hangers are very cool, you can do a lot of custom stuff in them. I 
also really like the walls they have here. Hopefully we get that in the editor for mission making. Um, that'd be very nice. We will go through the items in the editor here on the props tab. Hopefully we can figure out what uh, stuff we can play with. Um, trenches are very interesting also. It's kind of... It's It's a well placed base in the main air base. Um, it could have very strong uh, potentials. Um, it's not like um, most of the airfields, like the bulk of it is on one side, and that si other sides are like empty desert or just open. Um, on this one, you have uh, the northwest of it, a lot of buildings. Um, I th looks like the main base which I think actually extends very far here I think all of this counts for the main airbase actually yeah so you have all of this main base in the northwest of the main airfield to the east of it which is basically the direct north of the airfield is like nice terrain for interesting uh, encounters and not very bulky with buildings, unlike the other side, which is also very nice to see, to be honest. I do like it. Having the river going through it here, you don't see it really uh, good on the terrain map, but um, it's... I don't know how to feel about it. It's very good um, from a player side play through it like there is this whole section to go through and then after finishing that you can cross to the other side so it's one whole big airfield but it's kind of divided sub, uh, sections and on the other side here on the south side it's not it does have the empty uh, place obviously for the airplanes and such but it's also not vast open areas Um, there's a river on the other side too, so it's kind of like an island. Yeah. So you, also, you can't see it um, very much, uh, very good in the terrain map, but it's like north of it and south of the airfield and the runway, there's like these two small rivers. So I'm very surprised to see, to be honest. What's this here? It's like a market? Town. Where is this? Okay, so it's like a street. A burnt out village. A ruin. Could have a nice patrol mission here. I see they are really used some assets here. Ooh. I saw this in the trailer and such in the images. Um, I was hoping they add them as actual vehicles, but I think they are just props, which is very sad to see, to be honest. Would have been very, very cool to drive in these uh, cars around. Especially this one. Um, could implement a lot of cool civilian stuff. Right smile gets you a long way. <laughs> okay. A lot of toothpaste uh, ads around. I guess if it's as popular in that time. But yeah, and then it goes into a jungle, so it can have. Uh, as a mission uh, maker, I. Th you can uh, think of a mission that starts here, then goes on foot through this, through this jungle then a bit, and then goes into this base here and into there if very, if you want to push it very uh, to the limits. Um, but until now I haven't seen actual village from just flying around, I'm only seeing bases, which is okay. Um, 
it is a fight zone after all. But yeah, all of them are like uh, bases and cabins for the soldiers and not actual village buildings for civilians. What are these? Oh, tanks, yeah. It's good to see this. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't see it being used from Zeus wise since we are ne almost never used the uh, modern versions of it. Okay, so there's the empty one too. That's kind of cool. Um, this DLC came with a big size. Um, for me, it was like 24 gigabytes to download. So I am expecting to see a lot of new models. Um, and I will be very disappointed to see a lot of reused items. Um, until now, mostly new items, n new models, um, which we'll go through hopefully. Communication tower. Um, these uh, feel a lot like the Genoa building, buildings. Maybe retextured? How about these? Are they two stories or one story? They are two stories, that's very good to see. Very interesting windows. You can't throw grenades through them. I can see a lot of grenades buzzing back through that because of uh, players not knowing. Maybe because of qu uh, graphics quality or something. Thinks he can throw a grenade and bounces back. Okay, let's see if we can figure out if there's a civilian area. Okay, this should look like... Oh, wow, okay. I thought... Okay, that's the town. Gotta check next, but these are farmlands. And... Wow, okay. Having a helicopter landing snipers or um, putting someone up here would have a big advantage, but it's obviously zero cover from all sides. Um, would be also very cinematic to see helicopters flying through these, to be honest, low uh, altitude. And adding a bit of fog, or even without a fog actually, the it's not it's very flat, but it's very interesting to fight through. Like, let's see like this. Um, it's a bit sunrise uh, down, or sunrise, I don't know. It's also cool in the background, but... Yeah, very cool infantry slash motorized fights can happen here. Okay, so these are like very low village buildings. I'm guessing they wouldn't uh, give a lot of protection if you go inside, it's just uh, people won't see you in them. This is actual water, right? Yeah, that's, all, that's just a texture. That would be very disappointing. Um, until now, I'm very satisfied with the map design. Disappointed of its size for that much of uh, download and for the fact that it's paid, but there's a lot of bigger maps uh, bigger than this one. Let's see. So they have implemented a lot of just rocks um, popping out. Uh, on flat areas to break the pattern, I guess. Yet again, I personally don't know the normal terrain uh, in that area in the world, but um, 
I haven't seen such terrain in armor, at least, um, made this well. Looking at from an infantry level here, yeah. Could have very interesting um, clear, uh, missions to clear out areas and villages with it. I wouldn't go up here at all. There's zero cover on the sides. It's just the elevation point, I guess. Or did even call it a tower? Um, but yeah, like you can see, almost see a pattern here. Like they are putting villages and surrounding them with a couple of uh, rocks, big rocks. Putting a couple of rocks in the middle of them um, to establish villages. Um, this one is surrounded, which I'm guessing it's not for the normal civilian population as these have lower stone walls, I think. Yeah, and a couple of sticks, but that one has better fence and pikes. Let's see. Are these like concrete type of wall or kinda? It's not thatch, so hopefully it can hold small bullets. It's not fully closed, so it can provide some protection from air assets, but not really. It can still destroy you, if you can see you. And again, the low um, buildings. By, by low, I mean the thickness of it, or how much protection it can provide. Okay, let's move on to the city here. Or downtown, I think. Or no, this is not the biggest city. I think this one is. We'll check it out next here. But yeah, these are the biggest cities, I think. This here, here, which are coastal. Is there anything else here? I'm gonna check through it, but I'm guessing these are mostly um, forests. Is this a bunker? No, it's just elevation, elevated concrete platform. Okay. I'm reusing the building we just saw here. This is another variant of it. With thatch roofs. Reusing all the Tanoa and all their assets here, which they kind of still fit. This is also a reuse, I think. I don't think this is a new model. I think I've seen this one in Tanoa. Yeah, we have seen this before. How about this one, the hospital area? All the rooms are entrable, I'm guessing. Yeah. Very cool interior. I have to say, they spent time on the interior. Hopefully, there's our props we can use, I'm guessing. Classic desk, kind of file cabinet, and goes back to the front and I'm gonna be surprised if these are like actual items that can get moved around and not just solid um, in the world, you know. Stairs. Looking for the stairs here. It's like a staircase that goes around and around, yeah. Cool new beds. Back room. Toilet, okay. Okay, so 
other stories are almost identical layout for the ones beneath them. Roof can be hold and good elevation point for the area, I think. Yeah, it can. Though that side has a high elevation on it, so that's definitely an attack point to this area. Interesting harbor we'll see now. Um, again, the classic village with stones around it or in the middle of it. Which, again, it's very interesting from the soldier level or the first person view. Um, you think it's flat, but it's actually very obscured by the foliage and the small bumps in the terrain and stones scattered around. Yeah, it's like... Very well thought, how they uh, scattered the foliage and the stones. Okay, what's this here? A train line? Or a railway, sorry. It's got a point to hold this whole area, actually. Checkpoint already built. It's two level. Bunker. See, this one is better than the ones in the villages. It has some cover around it, so you can go up there, but the other ones are zero cover, so we'd be taken out as soon as you file a shot. These are buildings uh, being reused. These one too, I think, from Tanoa, yeah, with those classes on. So half of that is not enterable. This is a cool area you can start with. What's this here? Radar. Sonar. No, radar, right? Yeah. Cool outpost. Um, what's the only entrance to it? Okay, so this whole area has one bridge for vehicles to cross. Obviously you can swim through the water from the back too, but for vehicles you would have to cross here, so this is a checkpoint for the vehicles, um, armor or whatever, which we will check in a bit here what they have. Okay. Yeah, it would, it would be very hard to see an enemy coming through these. I would be very interesting to find out if these guys are destructible or not. They go through this. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Been taking too long, I think. But okay, so this these bunkers flew out. That's not good. You don't want to see that. Um, this one too? Yeah. I don't know if it's a glitch or thought as could work like this. But I really don't see this one. I mean, it's... Yeah, I don't see it being logical to look like this, but I guess hopefully it gets fixed. If it's a bug, I don't know. Like this one is better, but still, I'd expect it to, you know, be covered. Um, it's designed in a way for only flat areas. Maybe they are portable, I just drop it in an area. Yet again, I would think it would be, you know, diagonal or rotated a bit. Um, where are we now on the map? Here. Buddy joined your channel. Okay, so... Very cool scenery. You can see a lot of cool screenshots and clips being done here. There's a lot of building though. So it's kind of a point where you can go through and then 
do a task, pick up something and continue on your way. Get uh, maybe ambushed here, possible point. Um. Oh, hey Moon, I'm on Discord. Um, sh sh share on screen if you're interested. Okay, so it's another base. Same uh, entrenchments. Um, let's jump fast to this one. Farmland. Graveyard. Very interesting area. Um, what's this building? Please tell me it's enterable. It's not. Um, can you go? Where are you going to go with these stairs? Here. Okay, so you can come up here, but nowhere else. Because you can land here. But yeah, it goes nowhere. It's not a door. Very disappointing. Would have been a very cool um, building to take over. Okay, so now I'm seeing a lot of Tanoa buildings, which they fit the theme, I guess. But yet again, it was a 24 gigabyte download, so I was expecting you know, fresh uh, uh, models. Um, until now, the most of the download, I'm guessing download size was th uh, for the terrain which is a lot still again the cars um, let me remember where these are and come back to them okay so they are here um, see if they are, can be moved. I'm pretty sure they are very um, much only decoration. But I could be wrong. This is a cool area. This is very cool actually, it could be its own, it's like a big objective where you can um, take over. Wow, yeah. What's this one? Crater? Looks like this one got hit too, yeah. Hey, wake up! Button button moved to your channel. To your channel. Okay. <laughs> User was moved to your <laughs> channel. Hey, wave. But I don't mind, so if you guys wanna be welcome to. I am sharing screen on uh, Discord. If you guys wanna check it out, I did pick it you up. You have to move me in there. Oh, yeah. shit. Um, I did. Okay, so if you guys, thank you. Okay. Um. Are, okay, so are these getting like uh, confused? I'm guessing these are like artillery shells. It's multiple, obviously. Yeah, that's something I made. They were called. They were named. Uh, 
foxholes. Uh huh. That's very interesting. This really reminds really me of a different game. I yeah. the name of it. This would be a horror to clear out, to be honest. But it's very cool. Really like this area. Um, you guys have been watching the what I'm showing here. What do you guys think until now? I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, I those bunkers that you showed before, the um, they weren't completely in the ground. That is an issue that they should definitely fix. But other than that, it looks really cool. Do you agree also that for what I'm seeing, 24 gigabytes is a bit too much? I mean, this is my personal opinion, but um, I don't know. I mean, the map's bigger than Altus. Is it really though? Yes. <laughs> Look at it. It is. I don't know. I mean, this is an airport. 300, 300 square kilometers. Altus, like uh, 280 something like that. Yeah, but really? How much more? How much more is mm -hmm. water? So because there's more water, I think there's going to be less terrain. I don't know. It it looks it looks really cool, but it really gives me. I had a quick look. It really looks like Rising Storm Two. That's the real vibe it's giving me. I don't know. I mean, from what from me zooming out here, I don't see it very big, and especially if you're looking in. Okay, let let's. I, I mean, let's see this town here. Looks a very big town. Um, on the map. But if you go through it, it's like what I can I can. Um, see it as Kavala and what's the one north of Kavala? Like both of them, same size as yeah, this one. So that's why I'm getting the feeling that sh isn't actually as big as Altus. What about Hanoi? Yeah, this is what what I'm talking about. Like this whole area. Oh, I'm already uh -huh. here. I already can see that there. So I'm thinking like that's Kavala and this is the town north of it a bit. It's a big spread out here. But that's why I'm getting the feeling like you know, I don't know. Uh, numbers matter, so if you think the kilometer square kilometers is bigger than Altus, then I'll take your word for it. Take, talking about the numbers, what is the FPS like? Have you tried that yet, or not yet? Um, I haven't played it yet. I'm just flying through the Eden editor here. I'm gonna jump to the first-person view and the Zeus view and check out items and such here in a second. I'm just oh, let's cool. just fly through this one here. Um, Keep in mind, I am running um, sharing screen on Discord and running the recording, so keep that in mind when looking at the FPS. Um, I have a NVIDIA GeForce um, 1060 Ti, I think, and I'm running a i7 Intel. Um, okay, just and to you give are you guys. Recording this for the, uh, the YouTube, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Hi, Mom. <laughs> for a second, I was like, is he really calling now? Um, I really like these shells, though. It's a bit different than, uh, what's it called? Kavala, where everything is in the city. This yeah. is like, you can see it is a war torn city. Um, yeah. And still, you think it's very flat, like, like this area is very flat, but the moment you go on the ground, it's like a lot of stuff obscured and the train goes up and down a bit and all very frequent. So, for example, mm -hmm. here, um, there's always cover, like even in the open, like you're shooting there, let's jump there and see. You thought it was flat, but it's not. Um, I, I really love that uh, map design here. Have you it's seen a very the impressive cliff. The what? The tunnel system. I didn't no, haven't yet. Okay. Um, do you know where it is? Ah uh, no. <laughs> I I don't have a lot of intel on this map, so tell me if there's interesting stuff because I just picked uh, it up and okay. opened up. Okay. Okay, so I heard about some interesting things on the north, uh, northeast. Okay, so and, I have uh, northwest. I have went through like this now until now here and I'm already here so you can very fast fly through this one and then you can go into the Zeus right. and see FPS and how it looks like from the person view um, yeah this one I've, I'm, I don't know how I feel about this airfield here in the middle um, it's very empty yet 
it be, can be very custom. Um, yeah, I thought it was the main airfield for a second. I was very disappointed, but then I saw it, uh, the main one here. Yeah, pillar. Okay, what's this here? Like a ravine type of thing? I'm really liking this. What I'm seeing so far is a big change in terrain. We've got the north with the more mountains and the ravines. and the Yeah, forest. yeah. And around Hanoi, at the very least, you've got these wide open plains that allow a bit longer range engagements. Um, I don't know when you and, said that. I, I thought of you as a sports commenter. Like, I'm really like, I'm seeing some change. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tr the terrain is very very interesting. Um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. These like terrain starts being mountainy, like uh, starting the middle going north and west, and towards the east and especially the south, it flattens out very much. But still, it looks very flat from the air, but it's very diverse on the ground. What's this one here? Oh wow. He never thought I could see this stuff in the armor, but it's very well thought. It's very flashy from away, or the sundown on sunrise. But the cliffs, though, um, you'd have to navigate your way through them with these big rocks. Those cliffs are deadly. Um, imagine you just Fall down. falling down from there, yeah. Or clip through one of those. Good luck with the vehicles, too. There is going to be then more useful abseiling mods or the advanced repelling mods, which sounds cool. Yeah, I can see them repelling through these actually. Um, if it, even if it's not possible, if it's a Zeus mission, the Zeus can like build kind of a platform here which allows for repelling scripts to work through the edges, you know, so they can detect edges. Um, but yeah, clearing these villages is it's a like the next level to Noah that you would expect from Apex, to be honest. Or what I have expected. Um. Okay, so less trees here. Where are we now? We are here. Um, The jungle inside of it. Let's look through it fast. Looks like to Noah. Looks like to Noah. A bit flatter, yes. And and a little bit more spread, I would say. There's yeah, more spread. You can look through it, kinda. Yeah, to know it's like I can't see shit. Exactly. Yeah, which allows um for more fights here. Um, obviously they thought of that when making it. But yeah, I can still look through them, which is very good. Um, where are we here? A lot of forest, the river. The river water land uh, distribution is very good, I, in my opinion. Let's jump here. Oh, you, you missed the end of us. The what? The zoom in, MSS. MSS. Like horn. On the top of the mountain between Yeho and uh, Kichau. I'm having a hard time reading. MSS down, down, down. Biggest mountain with this MSS like Oh, I okay. It's very small. Yes. All right. Look, look at the top of it. You're gonna love it. Oh wow. Yep. Crater's gonna love that. This is very. Um, cool. That was a pretty much like a forward post, I guess. The US. Yeah, but look through the oh, view yeah. it has. You can see the fucking map, yeah. Damn. That's going to be interesting to say the very least. Like, if you want to conquer this whole area, where is it? Um, one sec. Yeah, we are here. You, you have overview all of this area here. You can see further. You can see the entire. You can see the ocean. If you. Yeah, you, you can. There, spot. yeah. Yeah. That's insane. That's beautiful. Oh wow. Um, what do we have here in the south? 
third or fourth airfield. I have another airport, yeah. It's a small airstrip. So my biggest takeaway at this moment is that we're also going to see a lot more boat warfare, if anything, because the massive, uh, the many oh, rivers, rivers, yeah, um, the few, the many islands that way. There's a lot of small islands in the rivers and just outside the sea. Um, oh, bamboo. Ooh. That's something I have not seen before. Um, not in that way, it's usually the, the tall elephant grass. Yeah. So I wonder how those interactions are going to be. Um, so it looks cool. Yeah, but the rivers, um, again, in the terrain map, don't really pop out, if you zoom out especially. Um, but they are there. So yep. boats do have a big role. And I did see in a screenshot a very cool boat, which I'm excited to check out here in a minute. Um, what do we have here? Oh, that's this is a very cool compact area. Let's just have a view on it from up top, and then let's go down, which you can almost see nothing of it. So it's um, entrenchments. I think this is the center of it. Power line. Is it a normal village or the Cabez village? Looks like normal. The radar building. I think this was from Tino uh, Livonia one, I think. Yeah, yeah, that one is bugged. At least the times that I've tried to use it, people shoot straight through it. So I hope that they fix that. Hopefully they, they did. They fix that building. It's, uh, it's a really nice building. Another it's version of these people. Yeah? Yep, it's got a second floor as well, um, where people can crawl over pipelines and that kind of stuff, which makes I'm it back. a really nice building. Ah. Uh, all these small buildings, well, what's called the halls, etc. Oh, uh, yeah. What's that pad tower? Yeah, this, like, I haven't seen a uh, couple of versions of it. Um, this is the weakest by far now. Obviously, it's in the center of the jungle, but it's got a bit um, better here, which, with better, you know. Uh, poles and better bit, better roof, better floor, but still no cover. It gets cover on the sides when you push um, here, kind of here on the cities um, and the coast. Um, you know what it reminds me of? Uh, you know, in the, I think it's the Unsung mod where you've got those toes you can put into the tree, or they come even uh -huh. with a tree. That's yeah. what those remind me oh, of. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You remember that time that Vile popped us when with that sniper with on one yeah. of those platforms? Yeah. And I think stuff like this is going to be really cool to see it like hidden half in the trees and then suddenly have I, like an empty. Actually, it would be very interesting to see if there is uh, models and such for tree uh, towers or what do you call them? The platforms uh, when they're on yeah, one. Tree stands. Tree stands, yeah. Oh, one minute to completion for me. Yeah. So the deal two was cheaper. There was, um, and uh, the moment it went out, I got it two minutes after. Um, it did had fifteen percent on it, um, which it still has fifteen percent. Yeah. That it like it's cheaper even without the fifteen percent. How much uh, was uh, it in dollar? I paid like I paid twelve dollars, but really? without the fifteen percent, it would be fifteen dollars, and they say it was going to be twenty-two. Really? Let me check because I did pay That's about. Not... Huh? Yeah, I paid. Was it nineteen dollars with fifteen percent? Yeah. So. Benefits of the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I think I did read uh, two extra euros or something for that. Yeah, on my side. Um, that's gonna be a very choky point to cross, but it's very cool. Would be nice to see destroyable. 
I see a lot of I did see a lot of stuff. Um I think this should be destructible, right? Okay, let's test it. Let's go in and put a model and um, um an AI control them and go into the Zeus. Um there is new stuff, obviously. See this guy. Something I'm very curious about is the radar. Because it it's, it's fully interactable. Yep. Yeah. So, really? I was just take, yep, I was just taking a look at it. Um, There's three seats in it. It looks like a radar commando and two radar observers. And uh, there's a full interior as well, first person. And it looks really cool. I just don't exactly know how it works. <laughs> Tire arm again, retrained on this 1960s technology. It is taking me way longer loading through these. I'm um, like from the. Yeah, because you're recording. I know. I don't know. Don't think so. Nice weapon. I like the stamp sheet. The uniform, actually. Are uh, you will guys see me zooming out? Like like this, it's my push to talk button. Um, I can deactivate it if it's annoying, but at the moment I'm gonna keep it. Um, the whoa, um, the weapon itself is also cool. Let's see hear, hear it out. You guys can't hear it. No. No. Okay, let me see if I can. How do I fix that? Or do I have to share only armor on Discord? I'm guessing yes. Okay, it already told me to stream Arma, so you guys should hear it now. Tell me you guys in. No, I can hear. There we go. Okay. So let's check the FPS. Um, video. Okay. I'm running all ultra and high. Um, so... Can I show this up here somewhere? Um, somehow? FPS? Nope. 3 Steam maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three there's Steam. a Steam FPS thing. Okay, how do I do it? Uh. Steam settings, I'm guessing. Um, settings here. Um, broadcasting? No. Interface? Maybe. Maybe there. Display access? No. Oh wow. My download stop at 24.1 out of 24, it says time remaining more than a year. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see. Okay, so that was a mess to show that at um, FPS. It's not showing the recording, but I got it in the top here. It's like 20, average 25, 24. But yeah, again, the shooting. I'm just just to check the bridge, if I can figure out where I have to go to it. Do I have to climb here? Okay, I don't have to climb, cool. Okay. Looks more narrow. The bridge? Can you, like, walk Let's see. There? Can you, like, walk over the sides? Okay, so I can't... What was that there? Yeah, it's something here. Okay, cool. Can you go through it? Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's one way to go down. Did you get yourself stuck? Yep! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm not dead. Um, I have Zeus uh, enhanced and Achilles loaded um, for such stuff. Um, but yeah, let's just see if we can destroy it. It's obviously not glitch proof. 
Um, let's see if it's destructible fire support, I think. Okay. Oh. That's a lot. I mean, you can see which ones are the Achilles ones. Um, I am also the normal one. Sock C DLC module. Yeah. Revive casualties set unit. Okay. Um, keep in mind, I have Achilles and Zeus enhanced on. Um, so I can teleport myself and such. But where is the fire support again? Here. Let's use the this one since we already know it. That's not on point. I think you might want to move your character. Should be away. So it's very hard to hit. Let's see if we can hit this side. Where is it going? Okay. It's very hard to hit. Um, how about placing explosives directly on it? I think it's under equipment. No, here. Um, things, explosives. Um, satchels should do the trick, right? Okay, I hate this. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, this should do it. Yeah, I don't see a damage model on it, so I'm going with it's not destructible. Um, so I am flying through it now fast. My FPS is telling me 20, going 17, 19, 20. Averaging 20, now going into the forest area. 14, 15, 17, 18. Um, it is low, but it is the Zeus view. Let's go into player view here. Um, I have 21, 23. What does this one say? 24, 23, yeah. On Altus, I do max out on 60. I'm gonna see if I can heal. Yeah. Um, what is the town like? Is that worse or is that better? The is town? Oh, yeah. Um, which one? This is the normal map view, not the terrain view. Which, I have to say, it's not the easiest to read. Especially with like these map markers. Um, let's go here. You can see how slow this stuff are loading in. It is a lot of stuff, given a lot of trees and such. But let's see. Um, where's the city center here? Oh yeah, yeah checking the vehicles too. Off. All right, yeah. So yeah, but yeah. Buddy left your channel. Um, searching for the cars. Okay, this here. Okay, so I have 12, 16, 18 um, FPS. 25 through this one, obviously it's paused, but yeah. 28, the moment I start playing it, it jumps back to 20 average, or 18. Um, I'm sharing screen on uh, disc on the Discord and I am recording. My graphics are um, 1060T GeForce and Nvidia and I have a Intel i7 processor. Um, I suspected these are just decoration, which is very sad. But are they destructible? Very much, which is good. Oops, got a message on the other screen, sorry, one sec. Okay. 
Okay. They are destructible models. Like normal cars. But I have no scroll options to get in. And now it's floating. Yeah, you guys need to fix that. I can't edit it, right? Nope. Disappointing, but um, hopefully it gets fixed. To add physics to it at least. Or make it not float. Um, what's this area here? Okay, I don't... Okay, maybe that's a normal car because I don't can't even interact with this one. Keep in mind, I had to load this um, in the launcher. I had to check the DLC, load with it, and then from there go to single player and then um, um, editor. And it gave me the normal Eden editor, selected the map, and came into it. I would still expect I can interact with stuff, right? Yeah, you should be able to interact so. with buildings. Yeah, I can even open these doors and they are enterable. Or maybe not this. That one is enterable. These are. I'm pretty sure you can. But, okay. I don't think that one is either. A lot of these buildings do look recycled. They look familiar from Tanawa. Yep. A lot of them are from Tanawa, yeah. Let's find uh, something maybe we can interact with. I mean, these buildings are. This should be enterable, right? This should be openable. Yeah. These are on notice. And I have no scroll on it. Um. Try the back side, the other side. If I remember, they have a uh... open still, but I. These are. Okay. Now you're stuck in the terrain. <laughs> How do you expect me to go in it then? These are raised, you can just whoop go in it. Um, unless you have enhanced movement, you can't go in easily this way. On all of them. Yeah. It's almost like they're building stuff to what's it called? Prepare for the enhanced movement. But that's okay, but let me place a building we know that is openable from the editor or from here. Let's Altus, Structures, City. Um, I mean, these are white normal buildings, right? This door is openable yep. 100%. Yeah. Yep. Okay. My cursor was broke. Okay. Try space ball. You run up to it. Do, do you see my, where my cursor is going? Or my aim? Yep. Yeah. It's good. I can hear the shots being on the right side. You can see my uh, scroll was able. Oh my. Yeah, but we see the opponent below, uh, but just by the space bar. Okay. Oh, okay. you're going through it. Okay, that's not good. Something weird's going on. Yeah. Okay, fun stuff. Still need to work. Does this mean I can go through this one too? If I can go up? Yeah, okay. Stuff to work on here. Um, let's see. What we can so obviously you can't put stuff from Altus here it was very glitchy. Um, even my aim thing wasn't navigating correctly. Um, the bridge like the bridge a bit to the north. This one, ooh. Yeah. So this one I'm guessing is for the vehicle side. This is the train side, and this is the infantry side, or also vehicle. Okay. Um, no pathing for only infantry. You have to pick one. I hope that this is destructible. Otherwise, I would be very disappointed. I'd love to. At the same time, I can also see people arming the what's it called, the bridge with sandbags. Um, or ambushes. Um, ambushes, that kind of stuff, like firing down onto the river. Um, that may be, oh, I'd love to see a train model come through. Oh yeah. So many cool options you can do with this. Yeah. It has good elevation, but let's see if we can destroy it. Or if it's destructible at all. 
Gonna go with artillery again. Um, this one. I'm gonna go with a no, but let's hit it with multiple. This is a lot. Yeah, I was gonna go. One literally landed on top of it. Yeah. And the craters are putting in the down, so I'm very concerned about the hitboxes of these. Um, I don't see this going through all of them. But yeah, okay, so you can destroy that bridge. Until now, it's very cool terrain, very cool map design, a couple of issues with uh, building physics and object physics with that car also. Um, what else is look uh, to see? Oh yeah, um, let's go through Arsenal maybe. Let's see here. Um, let's put a box. I Can we just hop for a quick bit? Yep. So I'll be back later. See you, babe. See you. Take it easy, guys. Yep. See ya. User left your channel. Okay, so. So what do we have? I don't have any weapon mods, and I'm guessing you guys already see the new stuff here. Let's um, select by mod. Okay. Just going through them. You guys can see the details of them here and the name here. You can see it here. I would recommend trying out that rifle grenade. It's actually a pretty interesting to use. Which one? The M1 carbine rifle grenade. M1 carbine rifle grenade, yeah. This one? Yep. So if you just take it out, you can use it as just a normal gun. And then if you press F, you can uh, pull. It'll attach a rifle grenade to the front of it. And then you can launch it as like a 40 mic mic almost. Where it's. There's a lot of. Are these all can be used with it? I would think so, yeah. Yeah, because uh, we can see the 40 mic mic stuff here, and these, I'm guessing, the mod version of it. The, no, I don't think 40 mic mic you can use with it, but you can definitely use all the mod ones. There's a couple of different options. There's two different types of frag ones. There's a semi-AT one, there's smoke, Willy Pete. Okay. And it has a blade. So, yeah, I can switch with the F and I'll load the frag one, yeah, as you can see in the top right. Um, how far can it go? Um, the top right one, you know, when you page up and down, goes maximum to th 300. Um, so, this is one, two, three, approximately here. I don't know, let's see if it can pass that. Oh, the marker definitely doesn't. Okay, so it's obviously not. Very long I range. Think, it's I a... think the what's it called? The zeroing distance is uh, not meant for the frag grenades. It doesn't seem to work. It does go more than hundred meters, I think. Yeah. Very cool. Um, let's see if the smoke, the smoke one, where's the smoke one? This one, and just shoot it up and see how far it goes.
I'm guessing it has to go down to start the smoke. Interesting. I would expect, you know, for it to take effect midair. Let's see. So it hits the ground there and starts, okay. I don't know where the other one. Oh wow, this is the other one here. So this stuff explodes or takes effect when it hits the ground. Cool. So it oh. has range capability. Because um, that one landed a... there and just started. Yeah. There's also a gas grenade that you can shoot. They added um different gas grenades, I think. Yeah. Let's let's see what do we have. Um, let's continue through the weapons. Classic M16s. Um, I'm not an expert in build uh, armor weapons, so um, you guys can see most of them here and just just judge them by yourself. Um, very fan, big fans of big machine guns. So this is what I would like. What's this one? Looks very aggressive. So the melee feature. If you um press F, so if you take out the weapon and press F and it'll say a uh, melee. With which just, one? Uh, any of them. Okay. Because you'll if you if there's not a bayonet attached to it, you'll hit them with the butt of the stock. Okay, so this one should be, right? Yeah, click the um attachments tab right underneath. Okay, so it doesn't have one apparently. It's a sniper rifle. Suppressor on it. Okay. I know the AK. The AK has a what's it called? A um bayonet. Very interesting scopes. What does this one look like? Okay, how long does a zero end? 400. Um, yeah, you can't see a lot on this view. Okay. See the shot there? Um, no. So let's see the other one fast. This is more of what I would use. Is this a normal LPR right now? I can zoom in. Yeah. Much better than the other one. I'm guessing it wasn't built for... yeah. Um, load out, edit. This is through the Zeus Enhanced mod. Um, what else? AKs. And then the normal stuff again. So you yeah, press F twice, and then uh, it'll give you the mail oh, yeah. option. Oh wow! It's cool animation. Yep, and that's with all guns. And then some guns actually like that AK. If you go into the attachments, where okay. you put like lasers and flashlights, you can uh, actually equip it. Okay, but you can. I don't know if you see the top right, but. Every melee takes a lot of stamina, um, so have to keep that in mind. And let's see the attachments. Ah. Yep. 
Let's see how it looks now. Different animation. Let's put an AI in front of us. I'm gonna use a sieve so it you know, don't get shoot back instantly. Okay, rain. Now I'm walking, you know, colliding with him. Okay. So this is, I'm guessing this is built for, you know, getting someone in the back, not in the front, because you have to go in, towards him. Um, what does it sound? Very similar to the machine, uh, the mach machine gun, submachine gun uh, we had in the beginning. So one cool thing I did find out with uh, the bayonet. That if you uh, go up to someone and if they have a gun and you ban at the gun, it'll make a sound effect like you're hitting metal and it won't do any damage. Really? Yep. And it's the same thing with uh, vodka launchers. If it's Ready on your back and you stab the vodka launcher, it'll uh, make a metal sound. Waiting. That's a small need feature. Oh yeah! So I can't kill him from here. One, check your oh. goddamn fire. Okay, two is too close, maybe already colliding with him. Maybe the collid <laughs> collision box is already in it, but yeah, um, already got it in the beginning, so very cool. Um, but those are the weapons. Um, for the... Let's skip through the uniforms fast. Um, by mod. Let's see how much. A lot. Very. Whoa. Okay. Okay, cool stuff. And guns, I'm guessing there's a lot of cool stuff to uh, fly with flashlight, yeah. It's similar yeah, to the modded community it. stuff. Yeah, Only a flashlight, yeah. Well. Um, yeah. There's also uh, pistols with flashlights. Yeah, so. here. That's cool. But I'm guessing this, uh, yeah. Similar to this one, but um, with a flashlight. Any launchers? Or interesting stuff? Not a lot. Okay, some. The Strella. RPG. Oh, okay. I was concerned about the texture for a bit there. It's kicked in light. What's this one? Flare launcher. Ooh. And a law. What's this one feel like? Okay, it feels very laggy. You can see I don't have much lag. Okay, now I'm getting a bit. Um, keep in mind this is local. Um, but yeah, let's see how... You can see your locket inside. Big boom. And drops it. So one use, I'm guessing. Um, let's see what else. Um, vests. 
also a lot of stuff. I'm going to put away the backpack um, so we can see it. Very cool model stuff. I'm guessing this is where all the download side is going. VPN best. Ah. These stuff. And that's it. Backpacks. The backpacks actually have a lot of um, space. Some of them are bigger than uh, carry-alls. Okay, so this is a carry-all here. You guys can see the load here. Uh, this is a Bergen. And this is the other stuff here. Which was it? This one? Yeah. So they do take between carry all and burgundy panels. This one is a pack. So it's cool. Very interested what this one puts in the ground. If it does. Nothing. For a second I thought maybe it can uh, put it on the ground, deploy like uh, any static weapon or something. So, yeah. The bushy stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing that's civilian stuff and that's it. That is uh, a lot of load. <laughs> okay, I was concerned it wasn't loading, but yeah, that's a lot of load, actually. Um, but I wouldn't go to war with these. But it is a lot of load. Uh, let's see what stuff can we pack in it. Um, explosives, how much? Seven, yeah. Helmets. I'm just gonna go through it here, you guys can see it here on the side. Um, let's change it to mod again. Um, starts up here. Um, again, pretextured um, Tanoa stuff. A lot of it, actually. Um, and no helmets. These stuff, you know. Okay. Oh, I'm going to other stuff here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, what else? Face wear. They do. They did add a lot of miscellaneous stuff or equipment. Cool gas mask or respiratory. A lot of masks, obviously, for the gas stuff. Again, going into other mod there, or other DLC. Nothing here. Um, different binoculars. Different maps, items. Surprised there, but okay. Another radio item, two of them. Campuses. Okay. Watch. I'm gonna check the watch here. Ready. And yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's this is the watch. Map. Yeah. 
cool stuff. See, I wouldn't go to fight with this. Um, they would see me a mile away. Um, okay, let's see what we have here. Um, these are accessories, bridges. This would be very cool if we have these uh, and other, you can use them in Altus or something. But this is amazing to have these parts, to be honest. Um, I don't know if they are limited to this DLC here or we can use it outside of it. Um, but you can build custom bridges with it. Yeah, all the bridges. Because basically all the items, almost all the items we have seen are here. Um. Oh wow. Looking for vehicles tab, but I don't see one. So if you take if you uh, equip a IED trip mine, it not only blows you up, but it also sends you flying. Oh wow. That's cool. You can have a camo as an accessory to your... Uh... Like, you know, a watch or a mask or a bandana or something. This one can be equipped to your shoulders. Cool. Um, okay. Faction-wise... Um, let's go somewhere flat with less lag, hopefully, here. So you can see them clearly, or less buildings. Um, Anti-aircraft. That's cool. Guessing just version of them artillery. Ready. Okay, I was gonna save this one to trace with it, it's not fun. Cool boats. Where's the water? Yeah. Having big legs now, but yeah, that's a big caliber. Guessing this one NTR or something, but no, it's the same, right? Yeah. They can take two seats. Machine guns on both sides and it's armed to the teeth, actually. Um, versions of it. Waiting. Awaiting order. Yeah, so it's like different layout of weaponry around it and such. It's cool to see. And how many people inside it actually. Cars. Let's see what they have. I'm struggling with 9 FPS, 4 FPS. Wow. Um. Transport, hopefully. Yep. Or? What is this one? Command truck, okay. Repair trucks. Okay. <laughs> um, I wouldn't want to go against this on foot with a minigun. Small gun. Well, there actually is one with a minigun. Oh. Ready for orders. Fun stuff, huh? And how do they react to an enemy? Just using some stuff from there. Well, actually, let's use same stuff, you know. Whoa! 
That was instant. What did it shoot it with it? This guy has a minigun, and what does this guy has? I mean, these are BTRs here. I don't know what killed this one instantly, but I don't know. Um, what did I see here? This one. Transporter. So that one's interesting. It's not actually a It's only for show, right? Yeah. Oh, this one. Okay, I forgot about this one. Oh. This guy he <laughs> killed this one instantly. Okay. <laughs> Oh, let's take out these guys. Yeah, this is very interesting here. Um, okay, so I'm jumping between 4 and 37 FPS. Um, it's a lot, I don't know. What is it turn? Yeah, no. Well, I was a little bit disappointed when I checked that out. What's up with the tire? You okay. can lift those two black ones. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, this DLC is not optimized at all. On my side, at least. What button is that? Unmapped? Okay, for a second I was like, what button is that? It's unmapped. Cool. Um, it's the help button. So I have unassigned it for other Zeus mission stuff. Um, I think here. Um, no, should be on... Common? Where's the help one? All the way down at the bottom. Or was no, it no, no, uncommon? It's in common. It's in common. It's uh, last help. No. Up a bit more. See last help. Oh. Last help. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Interesting sound. Um. Okay, Zeus stuff. Okay, I thought it was Lorette led to this game. To this thing. So what do we have? Um, change to pass seats, raise support wheels. Okay. Guessing now I can turn normally. Nope. I also don't like what the wheels are doing in the back with this weird angle. And when I look back That's down. Yeah. Um, lower support wheels. And what was the other one I think? Release? No. This was the Zeus one, so I can get out of the Zeus. Um, interior? Okay. Very cool stuff, but it's still way um, out. Again, I, I haven't break anything. I went to the, the DLC, went to single player, went to the Eden uh, editor, and the Eden editor I selected the map, and I'm running it now. So I am expecting for it to be as smooth as possible, you know. And it's taking long times to jump between the phases when I get in the Zeus and get out of it. And Okay. 
let's just forget that for a bit. What else is there? Um, we didn't finish the NATO stuff or the blue fort guys. Cars, yeah, already see those. Helicopters are the big ones, right? It's a gunship. The others are guessing the same, but without the variation of weaponry. Uh, this looks powerful. There's a lot of different variations, and with that one, if you're in the gunner seat, you can actually move the machine guns uh, side to side and up and down. Oh yeah, they are movable. Oh, wow. And then, like I found out earlier, earlier, the pilot can actually drop off, drop grenades on some of the helicopters and flares and smokes. That's cool. And um, this one has a gun on in the oh. front of it, I think. Yep, it's a 40 mic. Also, with if you're the driver or maybe even the passengers or some of the vehicles, you can actually turn on the radio and play some Standing music. Standing by. <laughs> Kind of neat. Yeah. So mini gun and a mic, uh, forty mic mic or something. Grenade launcher in the front, I'm guessing. And the uh, big guns on the side for the pilot, I think, and the other one for the gunner. With variation, obviously. Standing by. It's like the pony version, old one. Has guns on the side for the gunners, so that's fun. Nope. Oh. Waiting. Very noisy sound. How does it handle? Yeah, I kind of think I would st I'll stop controlling stuff uh, because it's kind of lowering FPS lower and lower by the time. And I just found out that uh, if you turn a radio on in one of the vehicles and hop out of it and turn the engine off, it still plays, and you can hear it on the outside. It's kind of neat. Okay, the inside is not as bad, but... Just drop something. Smoke. I went out of Zeus. <laughs> oh. uh, I didn't want to die. Yep, I would hate it for my camera to go like that. Um, but yeah, that's that. What else? So the helicopters. Other version of variants of it. This one. Waiting. On the way. Oh, I just found a bug. Yeah. So if you uh, load up one of the new tanks, the VC one, yeah. type 62, it has no interior. That's fun. Yeah, that's a... Just sounds there. Um, if I face the cam camera through it, no, it doesn't. So I don't know if actually this, oh, you yeah. know. Oh, oh, oh. 
both of them don't have interiors at all. So when you uh -huh. go to post, post and you just see like the inside of the tank, like the shadow of the tank or however you want to say it. Okay, yeah. Um, interesting click up just here. A bug because there was pictures of people looking inside the tank. It's very interesting helicopter. I'm I'm telling you the the model work is very amazing, very impressive, especially map items. Head out, yep, so. I'm gonna also I'm gonna cut it in a bit here. Um, thanks for hanging out. No problem. That's a very big miss. That was a direct hit from the blue guy. Both hit. This guy is still moving. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> This was guys stationary, this was moving, missed a lot, but okay. Gonna take them as equals. Um Yeah, tanks looks good. Um have to take a look at the interior issue there, but hey, cool. Um green guys don't have something very special about them, it's just rework or reuse of the other guys, I'm guessing. Yeah. stuff. Cook-offs. Nice. Let's take him away. Artillery. Already saw those. Yeah. Civilian. Um, very similar stuff to the bicycles, yeah. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Pushing the bike with a stick there too. It's very cool. Um, having um, approximately 20 FPS there. I don't know why it's jiggery like this, but what's where is the bicycle? <laughs> okay, yeah. Place for improvement, but that's kind of cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, and then the civilians, yeah, pretty much. Um, that's, I would say that wraps it up here. Um, I really don't know why there's so much issues, and if I broke something, I don't think so. Um, so, hopefully this gets more stable and people play it a lot. Um, it is a paid DLC, so there won't be a lot of population on it playing this map but um, it's very well designed it has a couple of physics and uh, model issues here and there but I'm pretty sure they will patch it up and could be very cool to have actually I'm doing very custom missions on it and very cool scenarios can come up out of it um, community can build all sorts of cool stuff in it um, we don't see this area actually but we can fly through it very fast um, Pretty sure this is just built for boat combat here. Um, not 
for, you know, for the islands themselves, but this could be a cool um, scenery to have. What's this one here? But yeah, um, if you guys are interested on what we do, um, you guys can visit us on nextquad.net. Um, join us on the TeamSpeak. We have the Altus uh, and Genoa servers for uh, co-ops and Vision NX and such. And we have the Zeus server um, also. IP is all in the description. Other than that, um, see you guys on the next video. So hopefully I will look if I can see uh, other cool details about this and maybe make dedicated videos to those. Alright, um, catch you guys on the next one.